Hi there everyone, welcome back to Dandelion Delphi Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to link your program to a database to make use of addo tables. So this could be applicable to grade 11 and 12 learners. Before we start, make sure that you have a program saved in a folder. Remember to create a new program, file, new VCL and save all. And also then I have used this program for the linking of SQL. If you want to, you could add a page control tab sheets, but you do need to have your DB grids. So I need two DB grids here. Uh, save your program and then also run it before you continue to watch if you want to do these steps with me. Go into the folder and make sure that you ran the program first. If you then created this Win32 folder, that means you're using Delphi 10 or 11, you need to go inside there and paste your database there. If that folder is not there, just make sure that the database is saved inside of the folder where you saved the program. For Del That means you're using Delphi 2010. There is a way around this Win32 folder, but I'm not going to show you guys that now. If you followed the previous video linking the database for SQL, you might have these objects there already and you do not need to add another addo connection. But for those who are just using addo tables, so you're starting at this video, I'm going to delete that now so that we can start from the top. So we're going to search our first object is addo connection. Click on it, the prefix is con and give it a name relating to your whole database. Then important is that the login prompt must be false. And then we're going to go to connection string, quite a few steps here. Click on the three dots, click on build. And since I created this database as a .mdb and not accdb, you will see that in my phase one database video. I'm going to use this top option here, Jet 4.0. Double click on that. Then on the three dots here. And now you need to find your database, whether it is on the inside there or whether you are using Delphi 2010. Double click on your database. And very important to ensure it works on all computers, delete the whole path all the way up to the name of the database. Then click on test connection and it should succeed. If it doesn't, start again. Make very sure your database is stored in the right place. Then go to advanced. Click on read write because we want to make changes to our database. And then untick share deny none. And then click OK all the way through. So if you already have the SQL, this is where you should start watching again to add our next components. So yours might look like this. So now we're going to add an addo table. So click the search for addo and add an addo table. Now this will start with a TBL and we're going to name it according to the table uh, in the database. So let's say I have one called shuttles. I'm going to call it TBL shuttles. In here, I need to go to the red property there, connection, and just select my addo connection there. Also important is since an addo table connects to a specific table and not to the whole database, in table name, I need to select one of my two tables. So this is what they are called inside of my database. So this one is going to link to the shuttle, so I'm going to select the table name there called shuttles. At this point you can also select active true but I also find that it's better to do it in form activate that I will show you later. The next that we need is a data source. So search for your data source and we already if you've done the SQL part I already have one called shuttles so I'll just call it addo shuttles. So I can distinguish between the two, but you just need to make sure that it corresponds with the name of your addo table. 
Now in the data source, we need to just select the data set. Now, if you have only done this video, you'll only see TBL shuttles or whatever you called it. Just make sure that you click on the right one. This should start with TBL. This top DB grid of mine is called DBG at a parent and shuttles is my parent table. You can give them better names. I could have called it DBG shuttles. And in here, all you have to do is select your data source. Again, first time doing this, you'll only see one DSR. I have three already, so now I have to make sure I select the right one, the one I just selected, created, called ADO. Now, if you clicked on open in your TBL shuttles, you will actually see data in here. Whereas when you're linking through SQL, you will not see any data unless you run a SQL statement. There's a way around that, but again, not showing that today. Of course, I want to display the other table in here as well. So I'm just going to quickly go through these steps because it's the same steps. We're going to select or search at a table. This one is going to be my astronaut. So I'm going to call it TBL Astro. Again, the connection, select your arrow connection and add a data source. Since I have a data source there already, I'm going to call it Addo Astro so that I can distinguish between which one is which. Now in my data set, I need to select the correct component here. I want to select TBL Astro since I just added the Addo table. It needs to filter that information through to my DB grid. In my DB grid, I'm going to select data source. And this one is Addo Astro. Can you see nothing is showing? The reason is if you go back to TBL Astro and you select that. Oh, I forgot to. Oh, good that I made that mistake. So when I click there, I'll show you that again. It says I'm missing a table property. For your addo tables, remember we need to go to the table name and select our table. Only now am I able to click on active and see my information displayed from TBL Astro in the DB grid. I know we have changed the active property there to true, but I know sometimes it drops that property. I don't know why. And I don't know actually how it happens because it doesn't happen often to me. I'm just going to unpin this to show you what code you should add. So go to form activate. Okay, this was from our previous lesson. For this lesson, add the name of your table, that TBL Astro that I have, and just say dot open. And then TBL shuttles is my other one. And then add dot open. Oh, goodness. Now it's really up to you to add your input objects and your processing objects and to make use of addo tables. If you need help with your pet and to try and figure out how does SQL work again and addo tables, those are both in my book too. Just go through all the notes and apply it to your specific scenario. Please remember to leave some questions. Hope to see you soon.